Nearly half of all American teens try illicit drugs by the end of high school. And with more states legalizing marijuana and other drugs, drug use is arguably more normalized than ever before. We're in Boulder, Colorado, where we've set up our cameras at High Country Restaurant. Our actor is playing a teenager suspended from school for doing drugs. Drugs? At school? His mother firmly believes that being drug-free is the only way to be. What are you thinking? It's not a big deal, Mom. It is a big deal. Everyone was doing that. If it, it doesn't matter if everybody is doing it. I'm going to go to the bathroom. But when Mom steps away, a cavalier bystander butts in, minimizing the issue. She's mad that you're doing drugs. Like, everybody does drugs. If you overheard an adult encouraging a teenager to ignore his mom's advice, what would you do? All right, let's do it. It's OK. I mean, I party all the time. I've been doing drugs. I mean, I turned out OK. Really? Yeah. I don't, I don't understand why she's getting so mad. I mean. At first, no one steps in. Perhaps some people are hesitant to tell a parent how to raise their child. But what if we decide to throw a little gas on the fire? Are you doing drugs? Is that why she's so mad? Yeah. Well, it's no big deal. I mean, you're young. Like, everybody does drugs. I don't get why she's so upset. I don't know. All right, she can hear this. I have something if you if you want something. This customer clearly sees and hears what's going on. I can hook you up. But will she say anything? She's locked in. I don't know, I don't know. What? <laughs> no, I wasn't. No. Okay. No, I didn't. Very upset by this. Okay, let me grab somebody to help handle that situation. Yeah, definitely. Just give me one second. Bring mom back. Bring mom back. I just want to let you know this woman heard this conversation and leaned over and told your son that there's nothing wrong with kids doing drugs and offered him drugs. And I just let the wait. What? No, I didn't. Yeah, she's totally I am. I am not lying. How about, what did mom and Rhonda say? Let's go talk about this. I want to talk to you, please. I want to talk to you inside. I didn't do anything. I want to talk to you. Yeah, good, good. Here we go. I'm I'm a little shaky and nervous about that, because, like, that's, like, really scary, that, like, somebody would just lean over and say something like that. Right. Like... I thought everybody experimented. Yeah. You're young, you just you really don't want to be getting into that too early, man. You just got to be extremely careful because something like that can really change your whole life in bad ways. Yeah. yeah. This is beautiful. Okay, break it, right? I like, I, I'm really sorry that you saw that. This is like an entirely weird vibe. Hi, how are you? I'm John Quinones with the show What Would You Do? Oh my God, really? So they're actors, but we wanted to see if someone would say something. You're one of the first ones oh to say something. Yeah, I'm what? sorry. You're one of the first ones to speak up. I got really nervous. Yeah. Because you care for these strangers. Because I would never want that to happen. Just somebody of like doesn't know any better. No second thoughts about saying something, huh? To the mom. No. No. That is so amazing. Really, you, you were, you're really special. <laughs> Saying something concerning someone else's child can be risky. Drugs at school. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, she goes to the ladies' room. Let her go. I gotta go to, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I couldn't help but over here. Is she pissed because you're doing drugs? Yeah. Every kid your age does drugs. That's what I said. Why is she getting so upset? I mean, I do drugs. Like, everybody in this town does drugs. Really? Yeah. Hey, uh, what do you think we should do? These guys just are not engaging. If she doesn't say anything, she doesn't say anything. It's only after our actor leaves that some people intervene. 
Genau. So, wait, wait. She's having a conversation with your son. This woman? Yes. What is she saying? About how it's okay to do drugs and everyone does drugs. What? That's what it's crazy. Well, watch her around your son because they're having some sort of conversation. Okay. Thank you so much. It's hard to tell other parents how to parent, no? I didn't want to get involved. I didn't want to tell, but it was kind of a crazy situation. Yeah. We run the scene one last time. And this time, we up the stakes again by having our actor pressure our young teen to get high with her. You know, I, I have some with me if you want to meet me out back. Really? Yeah. Like, once you guys eat and everything. I don't know. I, I don't know. I got anything you need. I won't, I won't. Are you talking to her? No. This woman signals silently to get mom's attention. Were you talking to my son? No. She said that you were. That you were talking to my son when I went to the bathroom. Who? Tell that woman you should mind your own business. You know, you should mind your own business. Stop getting me involved in something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My apologies. All right, we send uh, we send Ned away, and then Rhonda follows. Yeah. What did she say? Okay, I'm I'm gonna go check on him. It, okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh. You might want to just leave. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. How are you? Hey. How are you? Hi. How are you? <laughs> you know, that was, that was what would you do? Oh, this one? Yeah, what this is This is a setup? Yes. <laughs> Yes. That mother is the best actress I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. <laughs> yes, baby, I did what I should have, right? <laughs> you did. You were... What were you thinking? I wouldn't want to be in her shoes. You got to protect that kid at all costs. It brings tears to your eyes. It does. <laughs> I'm a compassionate person. I was really feeling for her. What's your message to the, the world out there? Don't do drugs. Do the right thing. Protect your children. And if you see something, say something. Right, thank you. <laughs>